the Lord will give you a sign. The young woman is pregnant and is about to give birth to a son, and she will name him Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Hallfields Presbyterian Church, where we build, grow, and share. We do have bathrooms in this place, and they are next door in the fellowship hall and behind us in the education building. And the education building is where you will also find our nursery. We, of course, welcome any of our visitors, and we have cards available in the pews for you to share information with us if you wish. Um, that includes prayer requests or simply um, making an appointment to talk with any of the staff. Um, you can also do this through the Connect section in our church app, which I encourage you to, to download and take a look at. A lot of good information is there um, about the church. Um, our theme this year for Advent is the heart of Christmas. And it's actually the subject of our cantata today that we're going to be singing. Um, there are a lot of different ways, though, that you can be celebrating Advent, um, including many of our mission opportunities, which are listed for you in your guides to worship. Also, um, we have yet even more events coming, um, including, of course, Christmas Eve, which will have our services as usual at 5 o'clock p.m. and then again at 11.15 p.m. that Saturday. And then, I don't know, just because we're a church, we're going to be in church Sunday. And so Christmas Day, we're actually going to have a service, and it will be at 10 o'clock. Now, will that service be at 11 o'clock? No. Or will it be at 9 o'clock? No. When is the service? Yeah. Okay, you can't tell me you don't know. Okay. Now, um, again, the Christmas Eve services are at 5 and 11.15. You're welcome to one or both of them. Um, and then the Christmas Eve service, I mean, the Christmas Day service will be at 10 o'clock. Um, the church office will be closed, though, the Monday following Christmas. And that same scenario is going to happen after um, New Year's. So just bear that in mind as you conduct your business. Another way to look at Advent is, of course, in cooking. And the Presbyterian women are still selling their world-famous cookbooks. And so I encourage you to take a look at them and to get one if you haven't. They just did a reprint because they ran out. They've been selling off the shelves and out of hands, literally. Um, be sure and grab one if you can. Uh, the Bethlehem Regency Inn happened last night. It was really great. We were very, very proud of our past and everyone who helped, especially um, our chefs, Connie Norton and Harold Dole. They pulled off a fantastic dinner for us. Um, we are very grateful again to all the people who put that together. So as I said, today we are celebrating the promises of God in song, and we're going to be doing that principally with our Christmas cantata, the Ark of Christmas. Um, the um, choir is listed for you in your guides to worship. I do want to make mention to you that we left one name out. It is my error and my fault. Her name is Joanne McAdams. She is a supreme soprano. We're very proud that she's a part of our group. Um, so please make a note of that in your bulletin. She is part of our August gathering. Now, whether in body or spirit, let me encourage you to stand and to greet one another in Christ. Good morning again. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you.
ready or as high as heaven.
filled with fear when the angel of the Lord and the glory of his presence lit up the sky that first Christmas. The angel revealed to them that his Savior had been born. Leaving their flock and their responsibility, the shepherds heard the travel to Bethlehem to find this baby who was Christ the Lord. And there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angel had said. The scriptures revealed that they could not contain what they saw and what they heard. It's amazing that these common keepers of sheep were the first to be invited to see the Savior of the world. Think what the shepherds would have missed if they had chosen to disregard God's invitation. We are not certain of the exact time, but we do know that men of great wisdom from a distant country saw a brilliant star. Leaving houses and lands, they chose to follow that majestic star wherever it would lead, no matter how long the journey might be. What would cause these men to follow a star? Why would they spend a portion of their life and their own money looking for a king of another kingdom? These honorable men searched diligently, bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and they were determined to find the young king and worship him. We're looking for the king, the new Messiah.
The love that came gently that night in Bethlehem changed the world forever. This one who was prophesied by the ancients, proclaimed by the angels, praised by the shepherds, and pursued by wise men. He is Savior, Redeemer, Lord, and King. And the angel told Mary to call his name Jesus.
all the collected memories, the celebration, the feasting, our most precious and favorite gifts cannot compare to the gift that laid in a manger on Christmas morn. You see, the heart of Christmas is Jesus, God's gift, the gift that is beyond what you and I can ever comprehend, the greatest gift of all time, for it is the gift of eternal life. The heart of Christmas is the heart of God Himself. God reaching down from the heaven to love, to redeem mankind. For God so loved the world that He gave His Son, and that we would not perish, but have everlasting life.
God's greatest gift. We are here to celebrate His birth, for we have made our choice to worship, honor, and serve this Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Sing hallelujah, the Lord is come. He is Messiah, the promised one. Our great Redeemer is Christ the Son. Come let us rejoice, for we made our choice to praise Him forever.
Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, as we pray together, let me encourage you to add to your list that you can find on page 8. Um, Jones Mayberry, who passed away uh, early this morning. Um, he had been sick for some time, so in some familiar respects, this is a blessing, but uh, this, this is another passing for the Covington family. So please bear them and many others who've had many other deaths in their own families, including the Bivens, um, the Turners, um, many people that we all know. Um, this is the season. This is when it happens. Um, keep all of them up in prayer. Um, also, remember all of those folks who are traveling for the holidays. Um, it is a grand time. It's a great time to gather together, but it can also be treacherous, especially for our friends and neighbors in the Northeast where inclement weather is frequent, um, especially for those areas where the weather is just getting wonky. Just keep everybody in prayers as we move around. With all of that in mind, grab a hand next to you or an elbow if the person is sick, and let us pray together. So, Lord God, we thank you for another day, and we give you thanks for drawing us together and allowing us to sing before you the praises of your name and of the one that you sent, Jesus. Help us, O oh God, not only as we celebrate his birth, but also his being born in us that sense that we become part of your family as well. Lord God, help us to pursue the love, the hope, the joy, and the peace that the coming of your Christ offers. And let us be a part of the world that you are remaking. Help us to pursue this dream that you have, that it can be a reality even now, not just in heaven. We pray this not only for ourselves, but for so many that we can name, including Beth Faust, our staff person of the month, our music director search committee, and the turn that they are making um, in, their, in their process. We also pray for Carol as she continues to map out her health choices. Um, we give you praise for Jean Evans and the peace that she's able to find even in the midst of her health challenges. We pray for Jen Evans and her family. Um, we also lift up Judy to you as well as Candy as she um, enters into uh, more rehab. We also pray for Harold Wayne and give you thanks that his rehab, his rehab is going well. Um, we pray for Michelle, as well as the family of May Edla Shaw. We lift up Ron to you and give you thanks for his uh, continuing recovery. And we pray for Susan, um, especially now as they continue to test her and to decide what to do next. We give you thanks that Everett is healing quite nicely, um, and we pray, give you, we pray for Catherine um, in the return of her cancer. We lift up Deborah and Delmar to you, and we pray for Mike Taylor and his family upon the loss of his wife and, and, and the mom. We just pray for them. We also pray for Brooks as he enters into a different phase of his treatments for his anemia. Um, we lift up the Walton family to you. This will be the first Christmas for them without their youngest daughter. And so we lift them up to you. We pray for Gary um, upon this accident that he sustained that left a severe cut on his leg. We continue to pray for our sister Norma. Um, and we lift up Randy to you and his lung issues. And as we said, our holiday travels. We pray, O oh God, for our elderly and those that are shut in or otherwise living alone during this cold season. Um, that we may be mindful of them and ensure that they have not only proper heating systems, um, but that they're working like they should be. We also lift up the Jones Mayberry family to you in this time of his passing. Lord, we give you thanks for music and for the gift of each other. Help us now as we continue to pray your name, not only here, but beyond this place. We ask this in the great name of Jesus the Christ, whom we celebrate, and who taught us all how to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So, um, it is with complete bias that I say to you that my favorite song in the cantata is the song, Till We Remember, because that's really true. It is not Christmas until we remember the Christ. It is not Christmas until we give from our hearts. It is not Christmas until we bear out our hopes. It is not Christmas until God says so, and it has already happened. Go and celebrate, and go in peace. And may the peace of Christ, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds this day and forevermore. Amen.